So what? You're just observing me, are you? You won't even know I'm here. Have we started? No, I'm on my way to school, so I'll be doing it lunchtime. So why did you just check the time? Just making a note of how long you've left the shop unattended. Don't wind her up. Are you going to leave the rest of the biscuits in the box? I beg your pardon? Only there's room for a few more if you stack them a bit higher. I'll stack them somewhere you won't appreciate if you keep on like this. Will you stop following me around like some slack George Spaniel, find yourself something to do. Put the kettle on. I'm just here to observe. Ugh, oh, that sums up your generation, that does. All right, Nan. How's it going? Don't ask me. I only work here. Ask tomorrow's world over there with his iPad. Just the milk. The milk. Right, now, um, <clears throat> have you seen much of uh, Alina today? Just, just briefly at breakfast. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? Because Fizz was mentioning, you know, you saw quite a lot of her yesterday. Nan! What? Oh, don't worry about him. He's just an observer. That's what passes for work these days, apparently. It's a performance development review. The term work has changed a lot since your day, Evelyn. Oh, you don't have to tell me that, lad. That's why the country's in the state it's in. Yeah, well, whatever. If he's and me have had a word, it won't happen again. How many more of these ridiculous questions are you going to ask me? Just four. Oh, for the love this of... This PDR is important. We are a team, and there's no I in team. No, but there's one in annoying... That's three and irritating. Evelyn, the sooner you finish, the sooner you can leave. Yeah, all right, all right, fine. Go on, do your worst. What do you <laughs> feel is your biggest achievement over the past 12 months? Not screaming every time somebody comes in and asks for gluten-free bread. Next. What do you feel you can improve on? Um, this crummy job. Are there any challenges that you face and what can we do to help meet them? Yeah, the customers. Why can't you take this seriously? Oh, I am taking this seriously, lad. I want a sign hung on that door that says, no credit, no hipsters, no small talk, no buggies, no half-wit knuckle-draggers who, for reasons that defy logic, think it's socially acceptable to come in here in a threadbare dressing gown and candlewick slippers. Have a word. No, I can definitely get on board with that last part. And finally, where do you see yourself in a year's time? Oh, well, if we don't get that sign on the door, in an establishment for the criminally insane. OK. Anything to add? No, no. Right, well, I think I am going to need a very stiff drink. <laughs> and I think what you need, lad, I think you need to get out more. You know, you could have backed me up. Well, you had it under control. I did, didn't I? Mm. Yeah, cheers. For what? Being supportive. Oh. Are you all right? No. Nina from the cafe, she's, uh, she's coming over later. OK. And just between us, uh, well, she says that she uh, likes her. What, as in? As in likes her. Ah! You know, I noticed she seemed more chilled lately. Good for her, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, then, why do you seem stressed? I want to make a good impression. Just be yourself, Dad. Yeah? Yeah, but don't talk about golf. And don't talk about your moisturising regime. And get cake. Lots of cake. Gay, straight, non-binary. The ladies love cake. Cake, yeah? Yeah. <laughs>